I have two books out, but I only brought the most recent, uh, Ancient Maps in a Tarot Pack. I'm going to read a couple poems from it, and then one, a very old poem that I happen to like, which might appear in another book, who knows. Do not wish. Lovers, do not wish upon the moon. The moon is stone and does not care. The moon is scarred and insane. Do not call the black pits of her eyes on your love's fragile existence. Your hearts, open as the door you leave unlocked for each other, can be plundered, can be ravaged. Morning can find you murdered. Those arrows you imagine, Cupid's, might come from Diana's bow, and she is a hunter. Shadow Walker. He lurks in shadow, still as a deer, secluded where woods overhang the meadow, watching the light, the lives lived in sunlight. When she looks back, she sees the dark he never fully returned from flare from his spine, veiling his face's hungry angles and the blades of his eyes. The shade erases his lines until his form flows like a shapeshifter, masking his name, yet to her eyes, his scars stand out as if etched in fire. She can track him through twilight, not by fingernail clippings or one long hair cast in a medicine pouch worn over her heart, but by the way his scars, the ghost in his ribs, vibrate on the air like a scent. Though his skin change, she knows the marrow of his bones. He enters the mine. When volcanoes were common as a two-year-old's temper tantrums, and continents drifted around like teenagers searching for identity, dinosaurs roamed this corner of the planet. They tramped around, tearing up vegetation and each other to feed gargantuan hungers. They basked in sun, sprawled across an acre of ground. They made it, and some raised their own young but they disappeared before they became names. There were flowers then, probably fleshy like orchids and strangely hued under an almost alien sun, and butterflies, I'm told, so huge dinosaurs would not not crush them. The butterflies might have been dago, day glow, brilliant, lime greens, chrome yellows, neon oranges, but their colors dissolved into earth before these mountains rose. When he enters the mine each day, he descends into their graves, sinks into Eden's darkness. All day he digs among bones, wings, petals. Into his lungs he sucks the atoms of time gone. He kneels by the stove, feeds it coal. In the flames flutter butterfly colors, bloom flowers. His gut-nodding cough echoes the dinosaur's death rattle. <laughs> 